A very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger. Thank you for uh, joining me on this bike trip. Currently five minutes past half four, so 15.35. It's a Sunday afternoon, the 2nd of um, April 2023. Another month has started. And I'm out for a bike ride. Currently started at the Celebestraat. Going for a nice bike ride. It's a very nice weather. There is actually a bit of wind. But with the sun out, it's very nice to be outside. I'm wearing a jacket and a t shirt underneath, and I seriously had a thought not to wear a jacket at the moment, but due to the wind, I decided I needed one so that what's uh, what I did coming from the right have right away so let's wait for them and let them pass in front of me don't know how don't have any place to go, no appointments, just a bike ride. Just out for relaxing time, enjoying myself and exercising a bit. move along, take a sharp right. Apartment building built in 1992, at least that's uh, stone in the facade says. And I have to tell you in 1992 I was not living in the city of Groningen yet. I was living, still living with my parents in the small city of Appingedam where I Went on my bike quite often. This area is a little older, built in the 1920s. Although some of it has been torn down at the car pass. To my left, the newer buildings built in 1982, 1983, according to what I could find. On the other side of the street, the older homes built in the 1920s, really old, 100 years old already. And in front of me, the apartment complex of De Zuilen or Zuilen. But newer. A lot, lot newer. These used to be soccer fields. I think in 2008 or 9 this was constructed. Maybe a bit later, but well. Certainly not very old.
Apparently someone's in a hurry. I'm not, I can tell you. I'm not in a hurry. I will not be in a hurry today. Take a turn here and enjoy the sunshine. Oh, it's so nice to have sun outside. It's really nice. Last Tuesday I came from my brother's home in Moorland, back home on the bike in the evening, evening, night, no, 10 o'clock or so, and it was raining, I had to wear a rain suit and it was cold, the wind was blowing, I did not have my gloves with me, so very chilly hands and I got wet. The rain suit got wet. A bit on the inside of the rain suit got wet. I was sweating like an idiot. I did not film that episode. It was in the dark and that was not a joy to be with, so better not film. But today, really nice to be outside. Nice weather, sunshine. I actually went out of bed very early this morning at 6.30 already. Why you ask? Well, there was a Formula One race in Australia, Melbourne to be precise. The start was at 7, but there's always a sort of program beforehand, and I like to watch that. And I do have to be honest, I fell asleep when the race was over. It took two hours to finish. Not the race was long, but red flags and whatnot and all kind of trouble and waiting and cleaning up the track. So I slept for an hour and a half and woke up at 30 or so went out of bed I thought to myself let's get some groceries so I did first of all I went to the little grocery store and bought some things also bought a wireless neck massage cushion thing and put around your neck it's not for me, I can tell you, so I have to return it tomorrow. And after that, I went home, of course, and then went to another grocery store, the Lidl. Had some other products there, bought them. Because the pantry was a little bit empty and all, I do like to have some food on reserve. Some storage of food. All canned food that's in, in pots that is actually good for a few years. I thought to myself, let's buy it now, because things do get ex more expensive, and I still need it. So let's buy it in advance. Let's go take a sharp turn here. Actually arrived at the area where it's called is Solvet. I already was in there, but oh no, the wind is blowing in the face, so... Oh, jolly, not nice. 
so I have to look what time it is because, well, I want to make a video in parts again and then it's easy to start, uh, stop each video at a certain point, say hi, goodbye, and so on, and then start the next part. Let's uh, wait for the elderly lady to cross the road. Just being nice and friendly to other people. Hope we get that in return. So a like of the video would be appreciated. It's not a must, only like when you do like it. Of course, there's a small chance that you don't like it, you can give a thumbs down or not, or just have a comment saying that you don't like any something. I can make an improvement. For instance, if you think, well, he talks too much. Well, maybe it's time to tell me uh, just cycle around with your mouth shut. Of course, another option to switch off the sound, but I can imagine that you appreciate the sounds of the environment. And actually all other input and comments are welcome. One thing, keep it nice, keep it in a way that we have a dialogue. Because with a comment, I don't like it, I can read it, I will respond, but I cannot do anything with it to improve. To improve myself and improve the videos and so on. And like I said, all positive comments are welcome. Of course, also in other videos. And when you see something in a video or I talk about something in a video, please put a timestamp in so I can actually have a look what I said and what's the, the comment about. It's very easy. Like for instance when I'm talking now at 10 minutes something, you hear me say boo, and you think well I'd like him to say boo. Put a timestamp in and tell me what you think about my boo. T-Rock. Nice car. Let's see where we ended up at the Park Selvert. Let's cross the road here and have a view of the pond by while ending the video. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box. I will see you next time in the next part. Have a great day and like always, be safe out there.